So this is the problem. This is where we are. And these are all lows coming in. Um, and every time there's a low, you get smacked with headwinds until the low passes. But by the time you get far enough north, you're gonna get smacked again with headwinds. So, we haven't left yet. After having sailed three quarters of the way around the world, we find ourselves stuck in Cape Town, South Africa. We have one last ocean to cross, namely the Atlantic, yet we are pinned down by low pressure systems slamming into Cape Town. The problem is there's been hope every week for the last month and we still are here. So um, it's getting pretty dire. We need to get going. Uh, we really, really need to get going. We're going to be arriving like in the worst part of hurricane season if we don't get going. <laughs> Talking to the marina manager, he said that uh, it's winter early this year. Um, so there's already snow inland and uh, the lows, which we've been seeing, are uh, coming in hot and strong. Not so hot, cold and strong. <laughs> and fast. Hey, blue sky! It means we can go. It's still fucking windy though. You hear that whistle? Yeah. The stakes have never been higher. We have two precious souls on board and every choice matters. Leave too early and get battered right out of the gate as the last low passes. Leave too late and get smacked by the next low as you head further north. We've navigated through turbulent weather before during our voyage to the northern tip of Madagascar, but that was a warm embrace simply to the fact it was actually warm. The cold, dark nights, the damp, just add a whole nother level of risk. I noticed a drip coming down Bodhi's wall, so I pulled the ceiling panel off. And check this out. Can you see it? This is all... water. It's not a leak. There's no leaks in, in Bodhi's ceiling. It's condensation. And it's getting into uh, kind of fall, winter here in Cape Town. And it's just the humidity from the body being in here and the coldness outside and, um, and it just causes this condensation. So this is uh, partly why on our next boat we're going to insulate it because if you go into colder climates you need to deal with the condensation. You can't fix condensation. Do you want to tell to wipe it? No, it's not going to do anything. Only way I fix is a sail out of here. Um, we, we didn't take a window a few weeks ago, and uh, some people did take it. Yeah, it's a Leopard 50. <laughs> they managed to make it far enough north. I mean, I think they had some pretty awful nights. Like, I think it was like three days of awful, and then it got nice. So they left in the forecast which is why we didn't leave, was suggesting that it could gust up to 50 knots. And for us, that's just a no-go. Um, it didn't, I don't think it ever materialized. I think the most they saw was 35 plus 38 or something, yep. which is still pretty windy though. The boat's ready, engines are ready, the sails are ready, the... People uh, are very ready. People are ready. Um, we do not have any fresh food. I haven't bought any fresh food because I just go out and buy a day's worth when we need it. Um, the shop's just over there. We are seeing this high ridge, high pressure ridge develop, which is keeping the lows uh, further south and far enough south from Cape Town, our departure here, uh, which will allow us to get north and get on this side of, of this high, which, which means we'll get following winds. Always, always test my engines at full throttle for just a little bit before I go on a big passage. Reason is, because if you have a clogged fuel filter, that's where you're gonna find it, at full throttle. I think we're okay on this engine. Port seems fine. This is something else I carry on board. It is for uh, hull intrusions. So, Hull intrusions are a tricky one. Um, obviously, you know, they sell a lot of wooden plugs and they'll have those for, for plugging, you know, a through hull that has popped out. But the fact of the matter is most of the time, hull intrusions are pretty messy. You have cracked uh, fiberglass. It's not just a through hull breaking. 
um, you've been hit by a whale or, or a submerged object of a kind, and uh, it's really hard to seal them up. So I have tarp, for example, a tarp on board that I could put underneath the hull to stop the water flow, and, and I would tie that tarp underneath the hull with ropes. Um, and then I have like expanding foam, for example, to help with um, curing and, and solidifying an area. Often it doesn't need a lot of strength, um, the hull intrusion. It's just really messy and you can't, you can't just use like an epoxy stick, for example, because, you know, it, it's splintered fiberglass, for example. So, um, yeah, I have a, a few different things to deal with hull intrusions. Uh, expanding foam is, is one of them. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Just trying to get creative here. Might work, might not work. Hope to, hopefully you never have to use this. Whoa, life jackets are out. <laughs> we're going sailing and uh, we're not going to have an easy sail. Uh, right now, it's rainy out. There's a lot of rain right now. There's a low passing overhead of us. And the idea is to leave on the tail end of the current low, meaning we have a little bit of a high to get through, which is positive wind for us or no wind. And then before the next low rolls in, there's still electronics installs happening. Apparently, we're departing tomorrow at 6 a.m. We'll see how this goes. Oh, and I'm looking at the dinghy. I still gotta inflate the dinghy and tie it up so it doesn't jerk around. I got my snatch box out, radio's charged, iPad is charged, that's how we navigate. Ashley's out shopping, getting the last of the provisions. And when you leave a place like South Africa, which is so easy to find everything you need, and then you head to a place like St. Helena, where there is not a lot. Um, it's a bit of a shock to the system. So I, it's been a long time since I've been a place where there really isn't much. And uh, I can't wait to show you. It'll be really interesting. Fresh. All right. Where are you going? No, I'm just starting our life raft. <laughs> It's all about last minute right now. Last minute laundry that I forgot to hang up. Last minute shopping. Last minute gifts. Uh, last minute storage. Stowage. Whatever it is. It's getting harder and harder to fit stuff away on this boat. So we have enough food to last us till the end of the century. This is the worst part about provisioning. Trying to find a home for everything. It's hard. It is dead calm out today. Um, this front that gave us so much rain and wind yesterday is just past. So the idea is here to now leave before the next front comes in. Um, next front's coming in three days. Uh, sad to be leaving. I don't know. Happy to be moving on. You know, I, I, I think we've done South Africa justice. Barely, um, but. No, I think we have. I think we've done South Africa justice. It's just, it's cold now, you know, and, and living on a boat in the cold is not ideal. This boat isn't the most set up for the cold weather living. You're clear on this side. Swing bridge, swing bridge, swing bridge. This is a uh, hole. Get both open, both bridges. Good morning, sir. The, we are outbound requesting your next opening over. I could be allowed to see you, sir. My next opening is going to be 615, 615, quarter past six. Confirm me, Kobe. Copy that, thank you very much, standing by. So we are a go for the bridges. The bridges are opening. Whoa, look at all those little birds. Good morning. I'm warm and toasty, how are you feeling? 
Oh, I'm super warm. I got my puffy coat on. Oh. I'm not even wearing shoes. <laughs> I think it's just warmed up, just for us to get out of here today. Um, here we come up to the bridges. We can't even see Table Mountain. I think it's going to be a gorgeous day. It's time to go. I am. Um, so sad to be leaving here and so excited to be leaving here at the same time and we'll be back it's been really exciting to be able to say every time we leave a place it's okay we'll be back you know cities are expensive places uh i think our pocketbook needs to leave here i think our hearts need to leave here where we like to be nomads and get out of here and here goes the bridge. So now we are leaving. It's official. And uh, it's kind of sad. It's Isn't so sad. It sad. It's our life. <laughs> it's awesome. On to the next adventure. Civilization, see you later. Cape Town, Port Control, Cape Town, Port Control. This is sailing vessel Nahoa. <laughs> Good morning. We are requesting permission to depart bound for St. Helena. Over. I think he said proceed. Okay. I think he said you may proceed. Wow, that's more than I got out of that. <laughs> I've been through here a few times. <laughs> it's usually just you may proceed. Cape Town. Check this out. So much moisture in there. See that? Whoa. That's crazy. I got a new flashlight. It's a it's just like a um it's a narrow beam thousand lumens, just over a thousand lumens. But the trick with flashlights on the water is you can't have a broad, super powerful one because they just refract off of the moisture in there. So, this is what I got. It's pretty nice though. It wasn't even that much money. It was like 80 bucks or something. Hey, there's the moon. Look at that. Beam me up, Scotty. What if I do it like this? Whoa, there's a spaceship up there, guys. Whoa, they're coming for us. They're coming, Ash. You like my flashlight? I like it not pointed in my eyeballs. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, it's just a... It's just a... It's just a very bright flashlight. It's a game flashlight, that's what it says, a game. 15 watts. X. XL Game Pro. What do you think of it? It's a night vision killer. <laughs> With Cape Town slowly disappearing into the horizon, we point our bow towards the Caribbean, commencing the final leg of this circumnavigation. Departing is always tinged with a hint of melancholy. Inevitably, there are places left unseen, people we'd wished we spent more time with, and corners of the country left unexplored. Yet, like all things when sailing around the world, we're at the mercy of weather. And the Caribbean, it seems, is already warming up, prompting us to hasten our voyage to arrive before the hurricane season is in full swing. Meanwhile, it's also active in the Atlantic. We're watching Tropical Storm Brett, which is strengthening with winds right now gusting up to 75 miles per hour. This is forecast to continue westward, moving over the Lesser Antilles and then into the Caribbean. As far as the long term track for this, a little less certain. Good morning, folks. We got a beautiful sunrise. The front line has just passed, so you can still see the blue sky over there. Uh, this front's coming in from the west. We're headed northwest. So right over here, where it's all dark, that's really where it's going to come from. Uh, right now it's 12 knots, it's going to pick up to about 20, 28 knots, gusting 28 uh, later today. So the plan is to just 
possibly heave to if it gets really nasty or just go real slow. 